One day at work, right after lunch, Dave fell asleep on a delivery. His truck crossed the center line at 55 miles per hour and smashed head-on into a small sedan, killing a 32-year-old mother and her 19-month-old son. Dave had been complaining about a headache all day. During lunch, he got some pills from the company first aid cabinet looking for relief. Unfortunately, the pills had an adverse side effect with another drug he was taking. The side effect was drowsiness. You don't need a prescription to get plenty of medications. They're called OTC for over-the-counter medications, and there are more than 100,000 of them in use today. But don't think these prescription-free drugs are also risk-free. In fact, they can carry plenty of risk. Many OTC medications carry risks for people with certain medical conditions or who may be taking drugs prescribed by a physician. Many OTC drugs can cause reactions when mixed with other medications or certain foods or drinks. There are plenty of other risks, including overdosing on OTC meds. People have committed suicide by overdosing on certain OTC drugs. People who rely on OTC medications often fail to read the usage instructions and warnings on the labels and carton inserts. And if you get an OTC medication out of a company-supplied first aid box, you don't normally get a chance to read any detailed warnings and usage instructions. Here are some of the warnings you may see on OTC meds. Drowsiness may occur. Consult your physician before use. Do not use if you are using any medications for certain medical problems. Do not exceed the maximum dose. Do not drive or operate machinery after using this medication. Excitability may occur. Severe liver damage may occur if you take too much, if you take with alcohol, or if you take with other medications. May cause severe skin reactions. Do not take if you have high blood pressure, heart conditions, or other medical problems. Not for use in children under five years old. Think any of these risks could affect you while you're trying to work or drive a vehicle? And there are many other risks, from using the medication for too long a period of time, to using it in the wrong way, using too much, preventing other medications from working in your body, creating more risk if you are exposed to certain chemicals at work. Many of these risks have not been studied, and many more are not known well enough to include on the bottle's tiny label or on those tiny one-dose packets. So before you rely too much on OTC drug compounds, make sure you know them well before putting them into your bodies. Get all the facts and information you can. Even the most commonly used medications have plenty of risk. Thanks for watching and have a safe day.